Hello my soccer universe and welcome to a look at the Asian Cup after two rounds in the group stage have been played so we are nearing uh, the knockout stage where it always gets more exciting and while we definitely saw a step down in terms of goal scoring uh, there were really quite a few nil nil and one nils uh, so that was a downer but that was made up with some really really exciting games upsets as well that especially haunted the two big East Asian giants in Japan and South Korea with Japan actually losing and South Korea um, barely escaping a loss and as, as we'll see this will have huge implications already on the projected tournament tree uh, as Japan are now falling down the ranking and probably not finishing first in their group that will make it really 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 spicy going in uh, but it also opens up for a, uh, some Arab nation to make it probably all the way to the semis which given that it is held uh, in Qatar in the Arab world is probably also not that bad we definitely saw that Arab teams have kind of more of a home field advantage here uh, they're getting a lot of support getting a lot of spectators in and that's in a way how Iraq could pull off the upset against Japan Besides Japan uh, really not being well sourced or sorted and not being able to deal with a bullish defender. But we saw the same thing happening uh, with South Korea against uh, Jordan, a team that honestly uh, I would not put among the top teams, but they similarly hit South Korea on the counter attack. And again, South Korea don't look quite the finished article yet. I think Jürgen Klinsmann's work is really, really cut out for him. Let's run through the results. I mean, uh, as I said, <laughs> Lebanon, China, nil-nil. That's uh, the standard result. Uh, Qatar also only a one-nil over Tajikistan after their really good showing against Lebanon. Uh, and Afif got the, who is probably the star for Qatar at the moment, uh, got already in the 17th minute the winning goal. Uh, they are through, they have won the group, but it was not glorious. Not glorious is also what Australia did. Uh, scoring through Irvine against the Syria team. Yes, they had some iffy situations here and there, uh, but in the end they worked hard to get the win. And also Australia, unlike probably, um, and I don't want to stereotypic, a stereotype uh, the two East Asian giants, but I feel that Australia is a little bit more nous. Uh, yes, uh, both Korea and Japan can be gritty, but I think just a uh, certain amount of physicality that's more with all Australia that's probably easier to take on such op opponents without being as brilliant as these two here can uh, be. But uh, speaking of brilliant, really brilliant was Uzbekistan. Uh, I mean, after 18 minutes, 2 0 already against India, uh, uh, Fazualiev and Sergeyev, and then Nazru <laughs> Nazruliev adds a third one in stoppage time uh, really really convincing display and I think this Uzbek team I wouldn't be surprised if they actually win this group as well although you know they still have the match against Australia coming up but uh, they are uh, they are a side that has been always a little bit flying too much under under I think they're top side in Asia uh, just not enough yet to break in and I'm always wait, waiting for their breakout performance to be honest Palestine probably should have won against the UAE. Uh, they were playing for more than a half with a man more. They missed a the penalty. They were one nil down to, to the UAE, but they missed a the penalty penalty. And then another Ongol gives them an equalizer. Um, again, well supported as we know. Uh, probably should have been more. It's only a one one for the outsider. But that was basically just the war warm through the real um, upset, which was. Iraq's 2-1 win over Japan uh, and if you watch the goals I mean uh, Hussein is completely forgotten for, for the first after five minutes and then he puts one in uh, right before halftime but even in between Japan looked uncharacteristically unsorted they were really overwhelmed it, it reminded me a little bit of what Japan was doing at the last World Cup where they also uh, had a really good first game against Germany and then lost to Costa Rica um, maybe they need this spring to get us uh, started it also ends the unbeaten run uh, or the winning run uh, in quite spectacular fashion yes they were in the second half pressing forward to get an equalizer they had enough chances to at least gag, but uh, Endo's goal came then very, very, very late at the point where you couldn't really 
bank on an equalizer anymore. So the chances were there. It just wasn't happening. But this is a humongous result because it puts Iraq um, very much in the driver's seat in that group. Uh, three points ahead of Japan. And uh, Japan probably will only finish second. And what that means we'll see in a little bit as well. Then we had in the derby, uh, Vietnam against Indonesia. That, that was decided through, uh, through a mangu uh, mangualam. Uh, mangualam. Gotta get I should practice the names before. Makualam penalty. Uh, I actually thought the first half Indonesia were a little bit better. I, I, I actually was happy that I could see that game. Then Vietnam were pressing uh, really, but uh, everything that came in the, in the box, Indonesia really uh, padded away quite n uh, padded away quite nicely. Uh, I have to say I also like the Indonesia jersey, which reminds me that we have also the Asian Cup. Jersey review is already out, so uh, you can watch there. I think part three is still missing, but the first two parts are already out. And then in the evening, Iran, a little bit disappointing, only one nil over Hong Kong, but you know, at this moment, get the points and get out. Uh, given how the bracket is shaping up, I'm not sure if it isn't better for Iran to finish second, if they still can do so. So we have to see that. And then we had Jordan again, uh, another near upset. I mean, Son gave Korea an early uh, lead through a penalty, penalty, but just before, and you know, then you thought uh, South Korea cruising, they take this away. And just before the half, they have a, a Park Yong Woo on on on, on the Al Namad again, deep into stoppage time of the first half, gives Jordan the lead. And uh, they tried as they might. South Korea created chances, maybe even more so than Japan. Uh, really were pressing for, for that equalizer, but it only came again late in stop, 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 which I'm through an Al Arab on goal uh, song. I think uh, uh, was um, uh, assisting Kang Ili who took, took a shot and then took a very wicked deflection. If that ball is not deflected, that, that one doesn't go into goal. I mean, it is those slim margins uh, were actually helping South Korea there. And again, I already said it, I think South Korea don't look like the finished article quite yet. Bahrain uh, beat Malaysia also only 1-0, then a 0-0 between Oman and Thailand. I actually would have expected a little bit more from uh, Oman, but I guess uh, we have to see Thailand actually look quite pretty. And then Saudi Arabia also um, didn't see any highlights, but when I look at the stats, yet yeah, I had, had, had more of the game. But first there was a red card to Akhmatov in the ninth minute, then Kano breaks them down in the third, 35th, then another early red card in the second half, and only an 84th goal to uh, Al Hamdi. Uh, makes it only for Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia team that is not quite happy even with coach Mancini. I think there's some trouble brewing. Uh, this is a unit that has to grow together, otherwise this could end very, very quickly. I'm afraid. So let's look over at the standings uh, and let's see Group A, Qatar through uh, and in first place for sure. And there's China, Taj China Tajikistan, Le Lebanon. What might help China is the Qatar already through. So uh, they might not feel the strongest side, but China actually a little bit in trouble of being eliminated. Australia, Uzbekistan, um, those two will go, go through its proper between uh, first place. The question is, will China do something in this group? Uh, then um, Iran ahead of the UAE, who have, who have have to win, avoided the defeat against Palestine uh, and Hong Kong. Palestine, I think, have a good shot of making it through since they have to play now um, Hong Kong in the last match. Um, we have Iraq more or less through. I don't know if head-to-head -head is counting now here, but uh, if, 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 if not, a point will be enough and I would uh, assume that Iraq will get that point. So Japan most likely only in the second place and Indonesia ahead of Vietnam, so also quite a surprise right there. Then Group E, Jordan now sitting level on points with South Korea. And again, if tie, tie, tie break, they would hold that one. Uh, it will come down to the last set of matches, whether South Korea will be uh, will finish second or first. Playing against Malaysia, I guess there's a probably better chance for South Korea to make points. Uh, so that's why I expect it. They're still in first place. Although this might not work in their favor either. So we have we have, have to see a saw so, so, so the river now ahead of Thailand, and that's exactly the order. Uh, as the ranking of third place teams, it takes a little bit more shape now in the actual standings in India, Bahrain, Oman, and Tajikistan. Um, we see here Palestine is moving in there as well. And now, most importantly, let's look at the bracket. Um, 
the only expectations that changed were the ones in Group D, where Japan is suddenly in, in second place. And you see that wreaks havoc on the uh, bracket because if Japan were in the top seed, where now Iraq is, would have made it through there and had a relatively easy route. Now they would face South Korea if South Korea win, will win the group, then Iran if they win the group. Uh, to uh, go to meet them in the quarterfinals, then you have the hosts in the semis. The hosts Qatar still having a relatively easy projected route. Uh, also, the upper quadrant is suddenly a lot lighter with China, UAE, Iraq, and Bahrain. And you would really think that Iran could make it. And Australia and Saudi Arabia also kind of on a clash course to see who will make it to the semis. And for me, uh, that will be make or break for Saudi Arabia. Let's look at the final, uh, at the favorites. First, we see Japan still the favorites, but they were at with 25%. So the huge slashing here because it is a much, much harder expected route for them. And for Australia, it got a whole lot easier. That's why Australia is suddenly in second place ahead of Iran. Uh, it all come, comes down the way that the bracket shapes up. Uh, we have Korea, Qatar, Saudi Arabia following. Uh, I would say Saudi Arabia is probably a little bit undervalued here, but let's see where it goes uh, on the other side. As I said, there are trouble in the, in the camp, so maybe it's not so uh, unrealistic. And then there are a whole lot of teams that may or may not make it in. Uh, but I, th I think it's between the big four that we have up there, potentially uh, Qatar or Saudi Arabia. But I think I'm, I, I, I would make the cut there, although I would love to see Uzbekistan winning it. I don't have a Uzbekistan shirt, so maybe not. So final sets of games. Qatar is already through, so it's, uh, China could get Easy points, Tajikistan, Le uh, Lebanon for a direct place in the next round. Australia, Uzbekistan, that's for the first place. Syria, India is head-to-head uh, -head more or less for uh, uh, third place again. Iran more or less is, is through, so, so UAE, we have to see uh, whether they can do some Hong Kong, pa pa Palestine. So this is also for uh, moving on. Japan, can it bounce back against in Indonesia? They better uh, do Iraq against Vietnam. Iraq need to confirm uh, that result. Uh, do South Korea, Malaysia and Jordan, Bahrain again for first place. And the so sorry, that, that's the top, top duel in that group against Thailand. That might be the hardest test so far. And we'll see each other probably on Thursday morning for another update there. So that's what I could get from the Asian Cup. This time around, didn't see all that much. AFCON was taking over and also always on the weekend, you know, as the leaks and, and, and so on. But I could see at least the two uh, really almost and the big upset, the almost upset with South Korea. So that was actually uh, exciting to watch, I have to say. Any case, let me know what you think uh, is going to happen at the Asian Cup in the comments below. And I will talk to you soon about more stuff from my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!